What is up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back for the final stage of the 2020 Giro d'Italia here on PCM. Of course, it's the final time trial of the race into Milan where Ghana and Dennis will be the two big favourites. But we are in the Maglia Rosa somehow with Joao Almeida and I think we have enough of a buffer to enjoy this one today. So a few guys have got underway. Dowsett with the best time so far. Can Eduardo Affini beat the Brits right here? No, he can't. Dowsett holds on for now. Shout out here to Davide Ballerini, who's had a good race. And in real life, this guy has been unreal. He, he's a top class sprinter and showed himself in the breakaway as well. He crosses the line here in 34th. So here we have the first of the really elite T tiers. Campanats one second clear at the first split. Can he hold it into the finish? Dying a bit before the line. Anti takes the best time, 16 seconds clear. But I do believe Cameron Meyer also on a very good time. Here is Meyer then into the final few hundred meters. Can he beat Vic Campanets right here? No, he can't, just four seconds behind. And now the Czech champ, Josef Czerny, won a stage in real life a few days ago. Can he go into the lead? Not quite. So we could have a surprise on our hands. Damien Housen has the best time so far at the first blitz. Can he beat Campanets into the finish? Gonna be close. And he can, two seconds clear. Next up then, Rowan Dennis into the final K. Of course, one of the two big favorites for the stage. Can he take the best time? Could be close though, and he does by a single second. I think he could be a little disappointed right there. And Fausto Masnada, the Maglia at Zera does get underway. There he is in that wonderful blue jersey. So Castro coming across the line pretty quickly. Can he go into the top five? He can just about right there. You can see James Knox is underway as most of the main GC guys well into the top 10 now are underway. You can see Simon Yates, Wilco Kelderman here, Jakob Fulsang, and on the start line, Joao Almeida, the Maglia Rosa gets underway for one final time at this year's Giro. So looking at the current standings, we have over two and a half minutes. It's gonna take something pretty crazy to happen for us to lose the jersey. I think Thomas will be able to beat Nibley. Uh, so I think things may well stay pretty similar in the top 10. But here comes Brandon McNulty across the line. Very good time by him. He goes second place ahead of Rowan Dennis. What a time by young Brandon McNulty. If we scroll back, you can see Nibley was 12 seconds down at the first split. Thomas 10 seconds. So Nibley fighting Garrett Thomas for that second place whilst Almeida a little further back doesn't matter at all though. So I think we'll watch the final top five across the line. Kelderman crossing the line right here. How far down does he go? 55 seconds today for Wilco. Fulsang seemingly on a very good TT. Let's see where he goes. He crosses the line in ninth place. Good time by him. Next up, we have Vincenzo Nibali. He needs to gain three seconds on Garrett Thomas, but I think the Brits may have him in his pocket right here. Let's see. Can he finish in the required time? Just about he beats Vincenzo Nibali. And here we go. Joao Almeida is going to win the 2020 Giro d'Italia. What a race for the Portuguese man. 15th today. What a race it has been for Joao Almeida. But Ghana does win the stage today, beating McNulty. Thomas in third in the end. And here we go. Joao Almeida on top of the podium in Italy, in the pink jersey. Two minutes 20, clear of Thomas, a little further ahead of Vincenzo Nibali. Fulsang fourth, Kelderman fifth. But Joao Almeida wins a grand tour for Portugal. Shout out to Fausto Masnada as well. He takes home the Maglia at Zura just ahead of Pedrero. Arnold Demar does win the points classification ahead of Garrett Thomas. Ballerini gave it a little go. He finishes in third. Almeida also takes home the white jersey. Well clear of Brandon McNulty. And we hold on just ahead of Ineos to win the team classification by just three minutes over 21 stages. Well guys, we did more than enough today with Joao Almeida. What a race it has been. Looking back to stage 15, uh, we really had a great performance on this stage, holding on to Nibali and Micah pretty much and gaining time on everyone else. This is where Wilco Kelderman lost this Giro, of course, losing about six minutes right there. Then on to stage 16. This is where I think we won the Giro because we gained back the Maglio Rosa over 90 seconds clear of some of the AI teams. Crazy result right there. 
great stage here on stage 17. And then we had the Stelvio here where we had a really great race. We lost time to Nibali, but we really limited our damages. Nibali closed the gap to around 20 seconds. But then, of course, on the penultimate stage into Sestria, Nibali did fall and lost a few minutes to Joao Almeida. And really, that meant we just needed to stay in touch with the rest of the guys to win the Giro d'Italia. So looking through all the stages, we won three stage wins of the first five right there. I think we won stage 10 with Almeida as well in a sprint. Uh, so that's four stage wins. Masnada won 12. Really, really sorry we couldn't look at that stage. Uh, so that's six stage wins as well after stage 16. So six stage wins and the GC. I don't think it's quite going to be as good as Ineos in real life who are going to win seven stages and the GC, I believe. At the time of recording this, at least it looks like that. Uh, but still, a fantastic race for us. And so guys, that rounds it out. I really hope you enjoyed this playthrough of the Giro. Of course, we're also doing the Vuelta on my channel as well. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one.